Notre rôle, on est là pour aider la communauté scientifique, pour faire avancer leurs projets. Et pour ça, on a les compétences en termes de production, en termes d'essais de, cliniques, en termes de régulatory, et aussi en termes de levée de fonds. Et, et c'est en ça qu'on a été assez euh, euh, apprécié par la communauté scientifique depuis qu'on existe. Is a, is a very long and complex antigen. It is around 400 kilodalton. And, um, and we had no idea what part uh, of VAR2 CSA binds CSA and where we should focus our, uh, our production efforts. In 2010, uh, both our group managed to express the recombinant form of the full length VAR2 CSA, the very big molecule. And uh, when we immunized with this protein, we saw that we had extremely potent inhibitory antibodies induced. Don't select the NF54 3D7 BBL12 expressed in E. coli in the shuffle cell line. Uh, why did we choose that? As I said, we have a very good production uh, uh, in terms of quantity and quality. It's quite cheap expression system. Uh, the protein that we are expressing is highly thermostable. We, we can induce uh, cross inhibitory antibodies as well as uh, cross reactive antibodies. We have, as I said, done select the adjuvant that we will use in the clinical trials that will be the allidrogel and GLSC. The next step is to repeat all these preclinical assays and the transfer the process of the, the process development to uh, GMP production and field finish. This set of experiments sort of establishes what the characteristics of a vaccine candidate should look like for a pregnancy malaria vaccine. Uh, first of all, placenta malaria is caused by a distinct parasite phenotype, uh, one that binds to chondroitin sulfate A in the placenta, and therefore we anticipate that the vaccine response should target CSA-binding placental parasites. The placental parasites express distinct ligands that allow them to bind to this receptor, and so it's logical that our vaccine candidates uh, would include uh, the ligands expressed by these parasites. Protective immunity is naturally acquired, and therefore vaccine candidate should be the target of these naturally acquired antibodies. In our expectation, this vaccine should be delivered before first pregnancy. So even though it's called a pregnancy malaria vaccine, it's not intended necessarily to be given to pregnant women. It should be given before they have their first pregnancy. And those uh, responses we anticipate will be boosted during pregnancy when women have encounters with malaria. That's what happens naturally. And finally, acquired antibodies target globally conserved epitopes, so the vaccine candidates should have conserved epitopes.
very helpful to get TVI into the loop because uh, there was a great team of uh, specialists uh, starting from the project leader to the vaccine development manager to the, the production director. So this is a day-to-day -day, uh, help for us because this is the first time that we are going to clinic. What EVI is, it is the glue that helps to gel together different organisations which are often competing for funding, um, which don't have the, the critical mass to uh, put the platforms in place. Because the, the nature of the platforms in, in vaccine technology is of an order 10 times more expensive than it is when you're dealing with developing drugs. And EVI is playing a unique role, and I think it is going to grow as more and more of these companies see the added value that EVI is bringing to the work that they are doing.